Hey, what's up, comic book fans? Welcome back to Comic Book Corner and fans. This is Mike Spider Slayer. Getting ready to do another comic book review. And guys, today we are talking about another number one title from DC. And this was a long awaited, anticipated title. And it is Justice League of America, issue number one. Now, I didn't get all the other uh, the variant covers to this because, guys, there's like 54 of them. We have to do with all the state flags and all that other nonsense or whatever it is. or I, I don't know, all the country flags, whatever it was. I'm not spending all that money for that nonsense, just for a different flag on the cover. So, cover looks cool. Our book's written by none other than Jeff Johns, and the art is done by David Finch. So, what did I think of the book? Was it dumb? A lot of people are like, I'm not getting this. This is going to suck. There's only one Justice League. You know what? There is. There's one true Justice League, and we'll never forget it. However... This book did surprise me. Um, just like Vibe, this book was good. How the team was put together was well in, put in place by Amanda Waller, which is really, really nice. And they have all their contingencies in place, which is really good to see as well. The opening page of the book has to do with five years ago. Now, the artwork in the book is good. Um, it's a little sketchy for me. Um, I'm not so much into this kind of that type of you know art but the way it was drawn like the characters drawn and their physiques and their bodies was drawn real nice i'm not huge on the coloring and that sketchiness uh but however here's our my favorite character right here hawkman not really just kidding i was just kidding guys no hawkman um nevertheless this was a good good issue uh to look at for the most part um, and here's Catwoman for all you Catwoman fans. So, you know, I'm not a real fan of all these characters, and a lot of their books have been discontinued, or they don't have their own books. But, again, the way the team was put together, I liked it. I, and it was a good story to be told. In the beginning, we see this, uh, um, this character here running. And uh, I'm not going to give away the whole book, so I'm just letting you know now. Um, I'm just going to give parts of it, but this person gets kind of like stabbed here in the side of his chest and he's running away and in the background it looks like you got, you know, Wonder Woman and Superman and, and Batman, that's what you see in the shadows, you know, and he keeps running. But this whole issue has to deal with Amanda Waller and Steve Trevor talking about the Justice League. And it's talking about how how unstable the Justice League is and, you know, they're going to explode. And, you know, if Wonder Woman and, and Superman get together, God knows what they can do when he starts thinking like her. And uh, Steve Trevor at first is just, you know, he's kind of on the fence about the whole thing. And he's like, I don't know. There's only one Justice League. How can you put together another Justice League? And once, it, once Amanda just convinced him of Wonder Woman and Superman, he was like, okay, what do we got? He was like all on board with the whole thing. And the story does a really great job at introducing all your characters that are going to be into the Justice League. Like Hawkman, boo, and, you know, Katana. Yeah, not my favorite there. And, um, you know, and, and Vibe. You know, and it, it's good that Vibe came out at the same time because you can really get in depth with Vibe if you uh, read issue one. And if you haven't read issue one, you can actually see my review on issue one right here on this channel. And then um, it goes into all your characters. Again, Stargirl talks about her. And it goes into pretty good depth. And it talks about how, you know, uh, Catwoman's joining the team. And... It kind of has our characters laid out, like Martian Manhunter with, you know, comparable to Superman and Catwoman comparable to Batman and Katana comparable to Wonder Woman, which I don't know how that is. And again, it goes with Green Lantern and Simon Baz and Flash against Vibe and, you know, and you get it. And it does a really good job about explaining that. And when you read it, you're kind of like, holy crap, this is really cool. 
you know, and of course our main guy here, you know, the, the strong man on the team is Martian Manhunter, and uh, it it was just really awesome to read this book. And the ending kind of has you like, wow, okay, this is cool, you know, and they left a good cliffhanger, but you're sitting there going, there's no way he's dead. And when you sit there and you read the ending of this, you're going to be like, oh, wow, okay, all right, but he's not going to die. So that was the only thing where, you know, I was kind of like, okay, why are they going to make him die? And, and uh, but you know, he's not going to, you know. So, and I don't want to give away this whole book because this is a number one and it's a highly anticipated book. But I gave you enough to get the idea of what the book is about. So if you guys have been on the fence about Justice League of America, I go out, I suggest that you go out and buy it. Um, I'm going to give this the same rating as I did for Vibe. I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five stars. Um, I think Jeff Johns did a wonderful job in telling the story. I think the art, for me, is good, but it's not perfect. I like the drawings, but I don't like that coloring and the little sketchiness in there. So that's just me being, uh, you know, picky. And the ending. The ending was, you know, phenomenal for me. It was cool. But you know that this character is not going to die. When you read it, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, Justice League of America, four and a half out of five stars. You guys tell me what you think of this book for you who have read it. Are you going to read it? Um, and what do you think about this roster? And, uh, you know, even though I'm not a huge fan of all these characters, I'm still going to read it because it's going to be interesting to see what future stories you're going to bring to Justice League in America and Justice League. So guys, that's all I have for you from Justice League of America issue 1. And this is Mike Spider Slayer saying, guys, check out Dark Avenger Inc. Check out ComicRelated.com. And check out KB, uh, BKBN.net. Sorry, Mark. Uh, big, kid, big kid's bit. No, I'm going to just stop talking now. That's all I'm going to say for right now. I can't get it out. So guys, that is it. I'll talk to you soon. And... Until the next review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, everyone. Bye.